Let's talk about using the remove and redo button on the account transactions tab. So what are some scenarios in which you would want to use the remove and redo? Let's say for example, you reconcile the transaction incorrectly to an expense account where really it was a transfer between a couple bank accounts. So what you see on your account transactions tab would be a reconcile transaction. So let's pretend that this was a transfer, the Ridgeway bank, transaction that we had reconciled previously, we are going to unreconcile it or remove and redo. You want to be very cautious about how you use remove, remove and redo because there are a couple of different ways that will impact your transactions based on the status of the transaction. So first, if you are dealing with a reconciled transaction, let's go ahead and select this Ridgeway Bank transaction and click remove and redo. And it's going to give you a warning here that says, are you sure you want to permanently remove the one selected account transaction? Please note for reconciled transactions, this will not delete any statement lines. So I'm going to click yes. And what you'll see is that the Ridgeway bank transaction is actually just going to go back to the reconcile tab for you to re reconcile. So let's do this and head back to the reconcile tab. And on the very last screen, we shall now see the Ridgeway Banking Corporation transaction for $15, just the way we found it before we reconciled the transaction. So if we had made a mistake, using remove and redo is a great way to unlink the general ledger transaction and put the bank statement line back onto the reconcile tab so that we can re-reconcile it accordingly. Okay, so let's go back to the account transactions tab. Now let's take a look at how remove and redo will impact a transaction when we're using it on an already unreconciled transaction. So take a look at Wilson periodicals. This is an unreconciled transaction for $35 for March 27th. I'm going to select this and remove and redo, and it's going to give me the same note here. And now one unreconciled transaction has been removed. You can recreate this account transaction by adding a payment. Notice here on the reconcile tab that there are still only 29 transactions to reconcile. So what happened here? We deleted this transaction from the system entirely. So be very careful about how you use remove and redo. Um, again, if you're doing it with a reconciled transaction, what it's gonna do is just break the link and put the statement line back into the reconcile tab. If you're doing it with an unreconciled transaction, it's going to delete it from zero. So please be very careful about how you use the remove and redo. Another example of when you would use remove and redo and will be covered in a later video is when you've matched a receipt to the incorrect invoice and maybe you want to undo it and match it against the correct invoice. But we'll touch on that a little bit later. In the next video, we're going to touch on why you would want to add a new transaction here directly onto the account transactions tab.